J.B. Grimes, J.B. Grimes has stepped down at Auburn. He's the O-line coach for Auburn. He has officially stepped down. J.B. Grimes. Now, why does that affect Miami? Because J.B. Grimes has been rumored to want to link up with Rhett Lashley and come to Miami. Gus Malzahn said in a quote that JB has decided to pursue opportunities elsewhere. You putting two to two together, JB Grimes will most likely be your next offensive line coach. Let me get a little bit of water here. JB Grimes here. Okay, so don't know a lot about this cat. All right, hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, guys, on the line, we got my guy, Vernon Speaks Sports. Now, guys, if you don't know Vernon, Vernon is the number one guy on YouTube when it comes to the Auburn Tigers. He knows his stuff ins and out, and especially with the Auburn Tigers and the SEC. So, Vernon, uh, first, uh, I won't keep you long, but um, what is um, what can you tell us about J.B. Grimes? Well, you know, J.B. J. Grimes did a tenure with Auburn back in 2013 and was relatively uh, successful because he had, had a good set of offensive linemen. Then he left and actually came back. The biggest deal that I think the Auburn fan base have as it relates to J.B. Grimes was his inability to develop what should have been a veteran offensive line uh, this year in the Auburn Tigers because if you look at a lot of the games from this year, a lot of the ailments – uh, of Auburn's offense actually starting up front. Okay, so I, I thought that um, uh, that Auburn, when I looked at them, when I watched a couple of games, I thought their pass protection was pretty good, but you guys kind of suffered in the running game when, like, Booby Whitlow got hurt and things like that. Well, one thing about Auburn's offense, if you look at the history of Gus Malzahn as a college football coach, his offense begins uh, with the running game and with the ability to uh, control the line of scrimmage, and that's something that just has not happened, especially in the 2018, and it was just uh, glaring in 2019. Auburn's inability to run the football effectively and, and to the point that it actually uh, puts some type of urgency on the part of other defensive coordinators uh, was staggering. It's the second year in a row that Auburn has not had a 1,000-yard rusher. Auburn is actually kind of not necessarily uh, totally running back university, but they are known for at least producing a 1,000-yard rusher uh, year in and year out and have been able to do that for the last two years. And when we look at it, it, all, it, it just starts up front, the lack of physicality. And uh, we can go in depth even with the personnel, uh, if you would like. Okay, guys, so what we got going on right now for the people who just joined the chat is – J.B. Grimes just stepped down from Auburn as their offensive line coach. There's been a lot of, um, I would say there's been a link to J.B. Grimes and Rhett Lashley linking up together at Miami. So um, I'm assuming that he's going to come to Miami. Gus Malzahn put out a statement saying that he will be uh, pursuing opportunities elsewhere. I got Vernon Speak Sports. Make sure you check out his YouTube Um uh, Vernon, so what can you tell us about J.B. Grimes in recruiting? Maybe um, has he been bringing in some big-time offensive linemen? Um, you guys were senior-led this line, this year on the offensive line. What about the development? Anything you can give this fan base about J.B. Grimes before we really dive into the research about him? Well, well, here's the thing. When I look, I actually, you, you actually beat me to it. I was going to do a video um, kind of showcasing the Auburn offensive line especially over the past few years, the seniors that have been around since 2015. For number one, when we talk about recruiting, I, I think, um, you know, Auburn has definitely dropped the ball in, in a lot of ways with the quality of recruiting for offensive linemen, especially with what was produced on the field this particular year. You look at Jack, you look at Jack Driscoll, for example. He was actually a two-star offensive lineman out of high school and was actually transferred for Auburn from um, Massachusetts. Then you look at Prince Tego Yagu, who actually went to Edgewood Academy in Elmore, Alabama, which was a small school in Alabama. It was actually a small private school. 
didn't compete on a high level. The kid has only been playing football since he was 16. So the hope was that because of his size and because of his, you know, uh, perceived upside, he was actually going to be a pretty good um, offensive line. And then you have uh, Marquel Harrell, who probably was one of the more physical and more prototypical offensive linemen out of the group. He just, I mean, he was in a position to where he just didn't have the type of help around him that he needed. And, of course, Armour just couldn't figure it out at the center position. So this move um, from, you know, from uh, J.B. Grimes definitely makes sense. I don't think Auburn or J.B. Grimes saw a future uh, moving forward, especially where Auburn is trying to go. They're recruiting some pretty uh, good offensive linemen. Actually on the docket is Broderick Jones out of Lithonia, Georgia, who's committed to, verbally committed to Georgia. But he has a official visit to Auburn January the 31st. Looking forward to seeing where he will uh, go. He's a five-star recruit, uh, probably one of the best offensive linemen that are still out um, on the, you know, they haven't signed their letter of, letters of intent yet. Okay, so we this is, guys, let me make sure I make this clear. I'm just connecting dots here. J.B. Grimes resigns tonight. Um, we know Red Lashley is for sure coming to Miami. J.B. Grimes is a guy that could possibly be coming to Miami. That's why I'm talking to Vernon. Um, so Vernon, just if you could just grade him as a coach, uh, A being a great coach, uh, F being a terrible coach, what would you give him? Don't be modest. This is NMD t- TV. Tell me how you feel. I think when you think about the totality of the circumstances of what it takes to be a high-level coach in college football, I think you got to give J.B. Grimes at best a C-plus because, one, the recruiting efforts have not been there. You talk about an Auburn program who is accustomed to being able to run the full football, have, have absolutely not been able to do that for the past two years. You have a freshman quarterback that doesn't rely or trust the protection up front. He still managed to be – Bo Nick still managed to be – um, SEC freshman of the year, despite the, um, you know, the adversities up front. I, I just don't, I, I, you know, when I look at the development and where I perceive a senior offensive line to be, they're still making uh, freshmen, they, they were still basically making inexperienced uh, type mistakes, especially in the big games on the road. So, you know, I, I'm not sure what, um, let's say Miami is trying to go into a different direction offensively. I'm not sure what J.B. Grimes will do for you. Man, so, guy, hey, yeah, yeah, guys, you heard it here on NMD TV. I trust Vernon, and we'll see if this uh, we'll see if this comes true. We'll see what happens. Um, I definitely uh, will do more research about J.B. Grimes, but, Vernon, um, thank you so much for uh, answering the phone and doing this just out of the blue, man. I definitely appreciate it, brother. Hey, man, I appreciate you as well, and good luck to the Miami Hurricanes, especially on this uh, recruiting uh, season. Manny Diaz, I I think, really wants to write the ship down in Miami, but I'm just not sure if J.B. Grimes is the guy that will help you out. Okay, and um, I want to say, hey, congratulations on your news um, about, you know, you respecting a child. Congratulations on that. And, oh yeah, I appreciate it, brother. Uh, no problem. And um, I'll be—I uh, have a lot of time Thursday, uh, Thursday and Friday to work on content. If you want to link up, brother. Okay, definitely. Always just give me a call, and I'll—I'll I'll be there. Okay, appreciate it, Vernon. All right, take care, man. All right, guys, that was Vernon Speak Sports. Make sure you check him out on YouTube, Vernon Speak Sports. JB Grimes. Um, JB Grimes. Offensive line coach from Auburn has stepped down. A lot of people are linking him to Miami. That news just broke. So I wanted to get an opinion from somebody who covers uh, Auburn. And uh, that's that's Vernon, man. And I trust Vernon. If, if Vernon would have said, this guy's an amazing coach, I would have trusted him. Um, according to Vernon, a guy who lives and breathes Auburn football. I mean, he's looking at every recruit that thinks about going. He's, uh, he's, he, the, the guy, the guy lives and breathes Auburn football. So that's just one man's opinion. We'll see what everybody else thinks. Uh, he obviously feels like it's going to be 
Not a big loss for Auburn to lose J.B. Grimes. And the question is, will this become official? Like I said, this is just me linking things together. Will J.B. Grimes become Miami's next offensive line coach?